Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'd just like to welcome you aboard today's flight. Alright, welcome back to another flight. This time we're going to be testing the 4500 milliamp LiPo and another nice, beautiful day. No breeze, very little breeze. Um. And it's at about 7 o'clock in the morning. Running INAV 8. And we're going to do an auto launch. Shake to wake. And we just throw it gently. And it should go good. Beautiful. Telemetry last. Telemetry recovered. Alright, sorted out a few things from the last flight. We've got our battery levels correct now, even though it's saying 4.0 uh, volts. Rest assured it was a fully charged battery, or it is a fully charged battery. So we're going to do a similar flight that we did previously, just testing it out through here. Uh, over the sugar cane, over the uh, fields that have been harvested, and we'll, we'll go out towards the highway again, and just um, that's just a little route we take. Currently in angle mode, top left you can see angle mode, below that we've got our satellite count, so 24 satellites. Uh, below that again is the uh, tight, what? is the flight time, we've just gone, we've just uh, been up in the air now for a minute. And below that is total distance, so far we've flown. Uh, and to the bottom, top, bottom left Later. you can see our percentage of batteries at 93% and we're flying at roughly 3.96 volts. Okay, just a quick break from the flight for a moment. I'm going to take you into iNav here and oh, this is a SpeedyB app actually. We're going to go into iNav and um, check out the way the flight controller is set up for the plane during this flight. So I'm just going to go into the flight controller tuning here. So we're running iNav 8.0.1, the latest version of iNav in this at the moment. So we're going to go into, I'll show you the PIDs. I don't recommend anyone copy exactly what I've got in here because uh, even if you've got a Phoenix 2400, it's going to have to have the exact same weight. It's got to be exactly the same setup that I have here. I really wouldn't recommend anyone copying just everything I've got here. Be wary of what you've got. So okay, so let's go through this and we'll have a quick look and then we'll get back to the flight. So this is our launch settings. This is what we used just then for our launch. I've got the idle throttle set to 1100, uh, max throw angle at 180, motor spin up time down there on 100. Haven't changed a great deal from basic setup. Launch throttle at 1750, climb angle at 2200, uh, sorry, at 22, um, and a max altitude of 5000 or 50 meters. Um, there's the nav settings there, which is currently set to that. It seems to be working all right for it. I'll just quickly scroll through some of this here, uh, just for you to have a quick look at. I've got the loiter radius set to 100 meters at the moment. Nice big wide loiter radius for it. Uh, that's pretty much all I can really show you. General settings here. Return to home is set at this. Um, I'll just quickly go through it for you. Anyway, if you want to stop it, just pause the video. Going to start doing waypoint missions too um, pretty soon with this one. I want to test that out. So, our main PIDs I've got the roll set at 12, 5, and 4. Roll, roll proportional set to 12, integral 5, derivative 4, feed forward is 161. Um, pitch per P gain is uh, 12, integral 6, derivative 4, and feed forward 166. Your is set at 40 for proportion, proportional, integral 10, derivative 10, and feed forward eight, 188. Uh, my rates and expo are set this way here. You can have a quick look. I'll scroll through it. Just pause it if you really want to have a look. That's that. Uh, filters I've got set this way here. If anyone notices anything I've got set here which I might benefit from, um, just mention in the comments and the, your reason why you think I should change it. 
four minutes. That's pretty much that. Um, so that's the that's you that's the uh, that's all the PIDs that we're running on this one at the moment. So there's not much else changed on this really uh, that I can think of that uh, might interest you. Angle one. Angle. There, modes we're running are all in here. I don't know if it really worries anyone. So that's pretty much it, guys. We'll go back to the flight now. Uh, any questions, just leave them in the comments. So we're currently in loiter mode and I've been flying now for six minutes at a distance of nearly six kilometers now in total. I can't see how I will get more flight time out of this battery. It's a better battery to fly in, I can tell you that with its punch, it's got a bit more kick to it. Discharge rating on this is 45C discharge, uh, whereas the other ones are only they're only rated to about 20 I think at the very most. I've got two forms of speed, one is the airspeed and one is the ground speed. As you can see we've got 40, 45, 46 kilometers an hour, ground speed that is, and then on the right is the airspeed. So they're very similar, which means there's very little wind up there. If the airspeed's higher than the ground speed, usually that means you're flying into a headwind. Um, if it's the other way around, your ground speed is faster than the airspeed, uh, you're, you've got a tailwind. So you've got to be a bit careful you don't stall the plane, so you want to keep some decent airspeed. That's why I've got that on there. You want to keep some decent airspeed onto it because you could be flying fast, but if you've got no air coming across the wind because if you've got a big tailwind, and it could cause a stall. So cruise mode active here. Throttle's been cut, and you can see the uh, the throttle now is being controlled by the flight controller, and running 2.7 amps, nice and efficient. So we hit 14 minutes now on the flight, and we're out to 12 kilometres. So we're not quite at the one kilometre per minute like we were in the previous flight. We're a bit under that. Wonderful flying over the, the sugar cane like this. Nice low flight over the tops of the sugar cane. Drawing 5.8 amps, 5.7 amps. and follow the creek back towards home yeah cruise mode's good I'm gonna gonna use cruise mode more I think with this plane it's it's lovely just to keep it in that mode and you can choose either angle mode or uh, acro I've just got it in angle mode at the moment but I think if you had it in acro mode it's gonna be even more smoother Currently 16 minute flight, we are only doing 14 kilometers now, so it's certainly not going as far in the distance required, so it means we're flying a lot slower. And we're at 3.58 volts, so it's consider coming in pretty soon, I think, because that's um, you don't want to be pushing lipos real low 
not too good for them. But next steps with this plane, I'll, I will be getting some new batteries. I want to build a big battery, a 10,000 milliamp battery for it. And I want to use the Molly Cell batteries, 21,700 cells in that, I think. As long as it fits, if not, I might have to look at 18,650s. Um, I'm not too sure with that yet, but I do have some Molly Cells coming. You might have heard they're a very good battery. Hard to get here in Australia, though. I do have a contact, though, that I can get them through. And he even told me um, they're, they're having a shortage as well. The inactivity alarm is really a pain hearing that anyone I anyone having an idea other than get a new radio please tell me because uh, that's that's quite annoying for this flight I mean I could land it and then and, and reset it but I don't want to do that so, so far we're going around the same flight time pushing now 19 minutes or 18 and a half minutes so we will easily get the the 20 minute flight time required 3.5 volts so it's still sipping away at the voltage at under six six amps So for best efficiency it seems like I need to be flying this in cruise mode and let it do its thing. I'll tune the cruise I'll tune cruise mode a bit more. I still haven't found what its best what its slowest flight speeds can be. I don't know if I really need to bother doing that, but nice low pass over the sugar cane. So that's 20 minutes now, 17 kilometre flight. So we're certainly going to get the same times in the end. But I think I can do a lot longer on the lithium ions anyway, because in this flight here I'm using cruise a lot more than I did on the previous flight, so that's why we've got the efficiency out of this, this battery a bit better than the previous one. So I think next flight I'm going to do, I'm going to try and fly it all on cruise mode on the lithium ion and we'll see if we can hit the 30 minute mark on the 4200 milliamp battery or even if the molly cells are here I'll use that. So as we come back now we'll look at probably coming in soon because we are down to 3.5 volts and the inactivity alarm's annoying and it's probably annoying everyone else too hearing it. Sorry about that guys, not much I can do. I was reading with gliders, I don't know if it's correct though, so if anyone can help me out, it would be um, quite handy. With gliders, uh, once you're up in, using altitude, is it best to have the flaps down a little bit to keep that height? Do people do that when they, when they try and gain altitude with a glider? I did hear that somewhere, so I don't know if it's correct. I haven't tried it, um, having the flaps um, at half flaps I guess, I don't think you want it full flaps, but half flaps um, I guess would slow it up and maybe give it even more lift when you're in the thermal let me know hints and tips on the glider would be great because I've never, this is the first glider I've had, I've never really even had a chance yet to hit any thermals too much on this uh, it's a bit flat where we are but I wouldn't mind trying that one day Okay, loiter mode now. I'm just going to take over line of sight again and we'll bring it in for a landing. Uh, we're down to 3.4 volts now, which isn't, it's getting on the very, it's getting a low side now for a light lithium polymer battery. So this one's now pushing 25 minutes on this flight at 20 kilometres in total distance. Just going to do one more pass and then that'll be it. We're down to 3.3 volts now. It's getting too low. It's 
sorry, we'll come around again. I was going too quick. Three point two. We do need to. We do need to land now. That's. I should have landed then. Straining out my lithium polymer battery here. We'll just glide her back in. Use as little power as we can. We should be fine. Hopefully the the battery is not starting to swell. It's it's a bit low. I shouldn't have done it. Shouldn't have brought it down that low. Three point two is too low for a lithium polymer. Bank around to the right, this time we'll bring it in and um, go over the, the flight. Captain crew, prepare for landing, thank you. And we've landed. Sorry, can't give you any stats though. For some reason, it didn't 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 show the stats when I uh, made the overlay onto the video. I'm not sure what what happened there, but if you've been keeping track of the flight, you'll know exactly where we were at with our flying stats and distances and efficiency and that sort of thing. Yeah, 4S is a, is the best way to run the, the Phoenix, most definitely. I wouldn't recommend 3S. I mean, 3S, yes, you can, but it's just underpowered. It doesn't feel. It's, it may be fine if you're just running, uh, if you're not running a flight controller and all the FPV gear. Maybe it's 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 more than enough power. But if you're running FPV gear, and just excuse me, while I get out this road. If you're running FPV gear, uh, flight controller. You're loading it up a bit, definitely you need to go 4S. It gives you that extra punch to climb. And it's just beautiful. Stick it in cruise mode on altitude hold as well, and it's just great. It was only running five or six amps in that flight, so I'm starting to learn the, the craft a lot better now. That was that's my sixth flight all up now with it, I think. Walkstar goggles in that flight I was running four patch antennas. I had the two true RCs and I had two patched antennas underneath, so four all up. Only going out 1.6 kilometers. I do want to test that further, so I may go back to the beach one day and we'll, we'll do a range test on that. But 1.6 is more, it, it's enough for where I'm flying here. It's a beautiful area to fly over the sugarcane. Um, nice and low in some of those shots there on cruise and altitude hold. Yeah, it seems to be really locked in at the moment. The um, the plane and the goggles, uh, the setup for the walk snail goggles X, um, with four patch antennas and um, the moonlight camera running just the standard aerial there. So I hope you enjoyed all that. That was a great flight. I enjoyed it. Um, we'll do some more testing again coming up whenever I can do it. It's a bit hard lately because of work commitments and weather and getting these type of days is pretty rare, which um, combines with a day off work. So fingers crossed we can do it again because I love that. That was just that was just beautiful. And we'll look at, um, we might even look at, at putting some other planes up in the sky too. But anyway, hope you all, hope you all enjoyed that beautiful morning flight as much as I did. And Hope to see you in the next video guys. Bye for now.